It's important when you start the installation of your manway spring assist to be certain that the two lugs closest to the hinges are engaged but the nuts are loose. To begin, on the left hand side of the assembly, we have a washer with a small hole for the hinge pin. It goes between the cover hinge and the collar hinge. You may not be able to push this washer in there. You may have to use a tool like a small screwdriver or a slip. Go between the hinges. Pry just a little to give yourself some room to slide the washer in place. Make sure the hole in the washer lines up with the hole in the left side hinge. On the right hand side of the assembly, between the manway hinge and the collar hinge, we'll be using a washer with a larger diameter hole. Same thing goes, you're going to want to use a tool to get yourself some room to install your washer. certain that the hex hole inside the hinge is clear. There's a bushing with a hex shape cut in it that will be installed on the right side hinge. You want to make certain that the hex shape and the bushing also lines up with the hex shape that's cut in the hinge. Next, a helpful tip is to go on the left hand hinge for the cover. There's an oblong hex shaped hole cut in the manway cover hinge. The point of that hole points straight up. It's a really good help, helper to make an alignment mark on top of your hinge. The barrel of your spring assist also has a hex shaped hole. Opposite the side with the nut, you want to make a mark on the barrel of this to align with the mark on your hinge. This will assist later on with the inner hex bar engaging the left side hinge. Install a washer with a large diameter hole on the end of your barrel, making sure that the hex hole is clear. Another helpful tip is to use a piece of masking tape to help hold that washer on the end of your barrel during the assembly. You don't want to put the tape on extremely tight just want to catch the edge of your washer with the tape because later on we're going to pull the tape off after we have the spring assist installed. Do the same thing on the other side. Turn the barrel over. Install the washer on the other end in exactly the same way.
put the spring assist barrel between the hinges with our marks lined up. Use our hex bar with the tapered end to go in the right side hinge with one of the points of the hex pointing up. We'll push this hex pin all the way in. will engage the inner hex pin into the left side hinge. Now your spring assist should hold itself in place. At this point we'll remove the tape we used to help us hold our washers in. pretty important that you tear a piece of your tape. Go back and grab the other side so that you try not to leave any tape residue in the assembly. At this point you can install the hinge pin to an extent. It goes on the left hand side of the assembly. Being careful as you push the pin in that we don't push the tapered hex bar out on the other side. All right. At this point, we want to make sure that the manway lug opposite your hinge assembly is tight so we can apply tension to the spring and the spring assist. To apply tension to your spring assist, you can use a 3 and 5 8 custom wrench available through your sales engineer at Holloway America. Engage the nut on the right hand side of the spring assist assembly and you should be able to use your finger to slide the right side tapered hex piece out of the hinge far enough that the nut on your spring assist will engage. Put tension on the large nut. You can take small bites at a time if you'd like until you get the feel for exactly how much tension you need. But each time you take a bite, the flat of your large nut should be at the top of the assembly to re-engage the tapered hex bar on the right hand side. Loosen your lugs. Dis disengage each one all the way around the manway assembly. Saving the lug at the front of the assembly for last. Loosen the lug on the front of your assembly. And at this point, there should be just enough tension on your spring assist that there's a small gap at the front of your manway. When you raise your manway cover, you should feel the spring assist you in doing so. And it should also catch the weight of the cover as the manway cover goes down. Reinstall the lug opposite the hinges on the manway. Engage the lugs near your spring assist.
So to finish the assembly, use a little rawhide to tap the pin through. Being careful not to drive out your tapered hex bar on the right side. Install the washer on the right hand side. An E clip on the right hand side. Spring assist is installed.